Hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Make Code Arcade Advance Stream. I'm Richard. I'm Richard on the Make Code Forum. And I'm Joey at J Wonderl on the Make Code Forum. And today we are not working on pool. But before we get into that, let's talk about. Oh, I should, I should probably change the thing on Twitch. The the thing on Twitch, the working on billiards. Starting a new game in Make Code Arcade. There we go. All right. Um. So we're going to be starting a new game, and um, we kind of have two choices of what to do um, mm -hmm. that I pitched to Joey. Um, so the ideas are, um, one, we make a Minecraft-like game. Um, and by Minecraft, we really mean Terraria, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what, you know, people do this a lot on our forum, and we figure, you know, make one, show them, show them how it's done. You know? Yeah. Um, so that's option one. Option two is a little bit more abstract, and maybe we should do this a different day when I've done more art for it. But um, I was, uh, I, I said a while ago, I want, we made a really, I, I don't even remember what the name of this game was. You know, let's see if we can find it. Um, but we made a long time, a game a long time ago. Um, and I remember it involved elevators. Elevator game. This yeah. is it. Found it. That didn't take long. Yeah, there we go. We had right. a little friend here. Yeah, okay, wait, sorry. I have to break up a cat fight. <laughs> cat. Stop. 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 I can't believe I beat Sin. Yeah, he got me. Okay, yeah, so we wanted to make a game that had elevators in it, and I don't, I, I think what the way this worked was you had to, like, memorize what was in the office. So there's, like, three monitors here, and, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, some broken thing, and then um, a coffee pot, and we're going to go into the um, thing and go to uh, the second floor. There we go. Now we got a bunch of metals, I guess. Can't go any farther than that. All right. And then we're going to go up to the top. And we got some vases that are saying some stuff. OK, and there's one, two, three, four, five of those. OK, now we have oh. a secret fourth floor we can go to and now we have a gravy boat welcome to the quiz bowl what computers were present on the ground floor you gonna give me some choices oh gravy boat uh correct oh. <laughs> what kind of awards do our employees win um what, what's happening here? You weren't paying attention. I, I think that there's supposed to be sprites. We might have chosen an unfinished version of this game. So gotcha. You know, yeah. apology. In fact, we definitely did because um, the mug that just follows it, it you around. Saying stuff, right? Yeah, he's yeah. supposed to say stuff. He's supposed to say like, mm, "Want some coffee? Looking a little, looking a little thirsty. You want some coffee?" He's, he's like basically just... Goombario in Paper Mario, right? Like just yeah. slightly annoying to you, and you kind of don't want him there, but you can't say that because he's such a friend. So I wanted to make a game starring this dude. Um, and uh, the the basic idea I had was either we do that or um, we make a game where you're just walking around a house mm -hmm. and you have something that can bring things to life and you can just have all the appliances start following you around and trying to help you. <laughs> okay. Um, following you around, try to help. This is not the Pikmin game. No, this is not the Pikmin game. Okay, we can't just go around picking up 18 forks and have them pick stuff apart. No, Seven we have... Knives. Okay, yeah. Pikmin, Pikmin oh with utensils would... Oh my gosh, I was with doing the whole thing with that good. game not being seen. Oh my gosh. Oh, really? I'm so, I'm so bad at Twitch. All right, once again, uh, okay. You walk around, it, there's computers, there's an elevator. There's this mug that follows you around. Pikmin with kitchen utensils, I am attached to that idea now, though, just so you know. 
Um, right, and so uh, for the game with the sentient mug, I've been drawing some art. I drew a refrigerator. I drew a mug with a face. I drew an oven. Um, I'll draw some other stuff. So are we, are we making this game, I guess? Yeah, I think we can we can go with sentient friend mug. All right. Well, we're doing that. We are going to have to make lots more art. So this is going to be mostly an art stream, but hey, it's a Friday. So. Nice. Um, OK, so let's see. And Joey, do you want to do you want to draw some stuff? You know, you, you don't have to draw anything complicated, but um, just draw some things around. I will start drawing. If my computer allows. All right. This is going to be. A kettle. Um, so it's just any sort of household object is what you think of, or kitchen. Yep. Okay. It, it doesn't even have to just be kitchen things. It can be non kitchen things. Um, OK, so like a Mona Lisa, that that's valid, right? That's something you s normally have in your house, right? Yeah, that's in every person's house. Yep. I, I don't know if we ever mentioned this on stream before, but Joey is a master art thief. <laughs> That's why our internal teams chat is called the scheme team. In fact. Secret yeah, sleeps. I, I named that um, Shannon came up with. By the way, we're in talks with Shannon. All right. She's gonna come and help judge the game jam games. Woo. So look forward to that. OK, I made this kettle so much smaller than the mug. I'm gonna have to uh, start. I guess that's a good question before I start drawing, just so I don't seem out of uh, scope. Uh, what are the sizes so far? It was like 32 by 32 for the fridge, or not 32 by 32. Uh, that's, that's the, the fridge is 16 by 32. The oven is 32 by 24. The mug is 11 by 12. OK, so 32 pixels tall is about six, uh, five, uh, six feet. Yes, and that would okay. make this mug. Like three, it's like, like toddler feet, height. Like two feet tall, yeah. Okay. Look, it doesn't matter, okay? As long as it feels all right. Yeah. Uh, okay, now how tall is the statue of David? Okay. Joey's going to just be making a bunch of uh, art, artwork, which, um, yeah, go for it. Um, but do you maybe choose one that doesn't famously have nudity? Um, I was gonna, I was gonna draw an alternate form of it. Seven, okay. Five meters tall. Yeah, Wait, it, that is super tall. Way taller than I was thinking. I was thinking like ten. Yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's not normal person sized. It's um. Well, maybe it was normal person sized, and we we just grown smaller. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, how could we tell except for skeletons? Um... Skeletons can shrink. How do you know, how do you know they don't? What's the proof they don't? Uh, yeah, you know what? I'm I'm not equipped to prove that, so um, I can't refute it here. So then it must be true. That's how that's how science works. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's exactly what is accurate. Yeah, there's um, a, a strategy in debate that is often used by, um, I would say, like less scientific people. Gish Gallup uh, is what is that Gish Gallup. Yes. Yeah. It's a, it's very effective. Yeah, and it is basically you make so many claims so quickly that the other person cannot refute them because it would take longer to refute them than it takes to make them. Mm -hmm. You can say a lot of things a lot really fast sometimes. Yeah, and um, then it makes them seem like they're winning the debate, even though they're not saying anything. Um, hmm. See, maybe I'm not thrilled with this handle. What's the thing? What is the most normal thing to have? Oh, I know what the most normal thing to have in your thing is. Um, one second, let me pull up a picture. On. Uh, 
Otto's very sad right now. He's just yelling. I don't know why. Maybe because I made him stop fighting breakfast. <laughs> how, how dare I? I'm impressed you knew about the Gish Gallup, but I guess you did study political science. So that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, uh, by the way, for background color, I think we're going to use tan. OK, good. Nice. Yeah. Tan or pink. I don't know. One of those two. Okay. Does this look like a teapot? One second, I'm too busy drawing secret thing. Um, that's teapotish. All right, that's not exactly what. That's not the ringing endorsement I was hoping for, but okay. It's it's a good teapot. Um. All right. All right. All right. What next? What next? What next? By the way, um, I don't think there's anyone in chat right now because it's a Friday. But if you do show up, um. Shout out, shout out what household items you'd like us to draw. By the way, I'm going to get rid of the face on this guy for now because they're going to start out as inanimate objects and then we are going to put faces onto them. So, and I think what we might do is actually just like animate a face and just like encode put it on there so that we can make it do expressions and stuff without having to like, you know, do a bunch of animations for all the different objects. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I will send my first drawing. All right. Um, I, I, maybe I could spend some time shading on it, but it's a lost cause right now. Uh, 24 by 16, by the way. All right. Four by 16. And we have, oh, it's a Nintendo Switch playing Pikmin. Mm -hmm. A particular Nintendo Switch that I just received. It's Joey. Joey really likes to talk about his brand new Nintendo Switch uh, custom Joy-Con. Joey, do you, do you got it here? Can you show it to us? Or are you at the office right now? Um, I don't have it here, but I mean, I can, one second, I can grab a picture of it and paste it into the chat and you can pull it up if you want. Oh, it's up page. Okay. Um, it's atomic purple, so it's the best color that has ever been made. Uh, that's yeah. the clear. That's the clear plastic that you used to get on like Game Boy colors and uh, uh, N64s. Yeah, it's a it's a color that everybody loves and Nintendo just refuses to use anymore, um, which is a shame. I kind of get why. It's I mean, see through things are kind of out of fashion. It's it's like a nostalgia thing. But hey, you know what? Um, I think Joey also bought a new laptop recently, and um, he should have bought um, not iBooks. That was. Also not available. I did get enough. There are enough RGB things on there, unfortunately, that I can light it up just like if it was clear. Yeah, Joey should have bought an iBook, obviously. Oh, um, yeah, I should have. Yeah. A little hard to find nowadays. Yeah, harder, harder to find. And then also take out all the components and put in an actual map inside of it. Um, all right. OK, let's see. What else? Let me look at my kitchen. Oh, I can make a microwave. Let's make a microwave. Is your microwave, I think, I think, I think I know the answer to this, but is your microwave one of the ones that's uh, put into your cabinets or? Like inset or, yeah, inset. Yeah. I think most are nowadays. Yeah, I mean, just depends if they came with the house. That's true. Hey, you remember the time we looked at Vivian's microwave and it was the most inscrutable thing that has ever existed? Yeah. Uh, yeah, so Vivian, who used to be on the stream with us one time, was um, saying, like, I just, I can't figure out how to set my microwave for a given amount of time. And we were like, oh, all right, Vivian. Yeah, okay. 
you know, yeah, technology is hard. And then she showed it to us and we were like, wow. Wow, technology 100%. is hard. <laughs> this is this is the weirdest microwave I have ever seen. And none of us, I think it was me, Joey, and Shannon, could figure out how to make that thing work. <laughs> um, it, de- it wasn't just like the, like a common one that gets people sometimes is where you like, you click the buttons and instead of going to timer right away, it'll do like one minute or two minutes. It wasn't that at all. We it was thought it was going to be something like that. Like that's, that's yeah. what it felt like, but then it was absolutely no, not. There it was had no like, cook time. I think it had like a button that was like, popcorn and then it had a button that was like 45 seconds and then there was one that was like 30 seconds i was like how do you do something that's not a combination of those two well you just sit there and press cancel obviously um um yeah i think that was it actually exactly it was like plus 30 plus 15 and popcorn maybe was popcorn some, yeah, was, was like, like the seven second like interval. um and, uh, you know, we stared at it for the longest time. And then I think eventually Vivian was able to find a manual for it online. Mm-hmm. And we just all had to apologize profusely for doubting Vivian with this mm-hmm. weird microwave. Yeah. Usually anytime that something is that weird, the solution, the only real solution is look up a, on youtube a video of somebody using it because there's probably somebody who's like you know nearly retired who spent a long time explaining this and it's very good it's the best video explaining things you'll ever get hey this is this is jerry's microwave reviews all right and today we are looking at the zx583 now you remember last week i did the zx584 and um uh, let's see. Mario Gamer 191 says the previous stream was about making an extension, right? May I recommend a block that should could be added? It would be like a text sprite that would be procedurally generate text. Like when a character speaks, the letters gradually fill up the te- chat box, like how ChatGPT renders words. Allowing the player to change the speed of the rendering would be cool as well. Just a thought, though. Yes. So um, what you were referring to was we took a look at an extension that I'm working on right now, which is um, the Arcade Fancy Text extension. And um, uh, I would say you could try it out right now, but I'm actually making some breaking changes right now, so uh, you can't use it quite yet. But um, basically, uh, it allows you to um, create text sprites, and I have blocks for doing that exact thing. Um, so they will print out character by character. Um, maybe I should also make it so it can print out word by word, but right now it's just character by character. And um, Yeah, you don't see word by word that often, do you? No. No, I can't not... figure out how to make these buttons look right. Um, Bad. maybe black chrome and light purple button offset color is the blue or is the background. Mm, I don't usually like doing black heavy images, but we'll do it. Yeah. I just I wish I had a third dark color. You know, what about what if I made it blue? I mean, we do we are at a good time in which we can probably change the color palette if you want to. Why are we at a good time for doing that? Oh, you mean for the game? we haven't drawn enough assets yet to make it impactful? Yeah, uh, nah, I don't want to. Okay, we'll make it work. Um do 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 I mean it should be chrome, you know, but we don't really have gray as the issue. So all right, we're just gonna go with this something like this. You know what actually I think simple was the right way to go. It actually No, yeah. Not look bad. Maybe, also uh, perfect if you want to have like a, a chessboard later on. Let's 
weird for this. There we go. Yeah, that looks pretty good, to be honest. Um, all right, microwave. Uh, so let's go ahead and do a television. I think makes sense. Um, oh, there's a second uh, response from Mario Gamer. I don't think you read that one yet. It's possible to do it manually, calling a function that prints a text sprite to a screen as the next value to the words. Yeah. Uh, so it's definitely possible right now, but it is very tedious. But yes, that's what uh, Richard's finishing up right now, to my understanding. We we got yeah. some fun stuff for that, and it does other stuff like Here. you could do uh, little wavy animations and make the text all wavy, like the intro scene cutscene we had. I can I can actually demo it real quick. Um, so let me go ahead and open up a new project and show this off. And like I said, um, I am going to be showing this off, but please don't use it. I'm currently making changes to it. Um, it will be. I will post about it on the forum when it is um, ready to go. And it should be ready to go like early next week. Right now I'm writing documentation, but I just made a bunch of breaking changes to the blocks, so. Mm -hmm. um, OK, so you can go ahead and create a text sprite. I'm going to do um, hello. My name is Richard. I code sometimes. And sometimes I do not. What a life I lead. Okay. Um, so there we go. Put that in. Um, and uh, you can see already that by default we have a a maximum width for sprites. Actually, it shouldn't be doing that by default, but it is. So I'll figure that out. But um, anyway. Um, and uh, you can put in a max width, so it'll actually wrap the text, which the current text sprite thing doesn't do. And so if we want to print this out character by character, um, we're going to go into fancy text, and there are two blocks down here. There is animate very slow and animate for 500 milliseconds. So let me go ahead and drag out very slow first, except I'm going to change it to be normal. And look, it's printing out character by character. So an important question, Richard, is uh, does this support text wrap pretty, the new CSS property? in uh, browsers. No, I don't actually know what that is. It makes it so when the line wraps at the end, if it if there's only like one part of a word over here, it'll shift over a couple of other words from the previous lines so that it looks even and pretty. Hmm. I'm actually going to I'm going to mess with the text width to make the text look nicer. To 120. Hello, my name is Richard. I code sometimes and sometimes I do not. What a life I lead. OK, so you can animate like this where you put in a speed and it goes everywhere from very slow to very fast. And this is actually a number and um, the number that it, oh, that's not that different. Um, I, I still have to like it, but I'm still tuning all of this. Um, but this actually takes in numbers, so you can put in um, a number here and this is characters per second. So that's this will print out 100 characters per second. So you can see that's nice and fast. Mm. OK, so uh, that's nice. Um, but there's another way to do it, which is animate for, and it takes in some time. So this will make it so that it prints everything out in 500 milliseconds. That, or I could do five seconds, and it'll print nice and slow. Mm -hmm. um, now, um, if you're doing this, and say you want to like do something when it ends, there is also in here animation millis left. So this will return how many milliseconds are left in the current animation. So not as useful for this one, but is very useful for when you're doing it with speed, because um, then you can use this to figure out how much time you have left. Mm -hmm. Richard, can we make it so you can put it in a uh, on-game update so it has a sine wave of how fast it's printing out? Um, what? You know, so it, go, it goes very slow at the beginning, and then it goes fast, and then goes slow again. And oh, yeah, no, I'm not, I'm not adding support for CSS timing functions. OK, well. All right, Mario Gamer 191 says, um, will sprite.destroy block get rid of the text? Yes, all sprite blocks work on this. So I can go ahead and turn on bounce on wall and give it a velocity. Does bounce on wall? OK. Yeah, it'll work just fine. Yeah. Oh, because um, you said the hitbox, gotcha. And um, in an on A button pressed, I can destroy it. So you can see my text is bouncing around. It has a velocity. Um, and if I press A, destroyed. So, <sighs> yep, works just like normal sprite. Um, and then the other fancy things you can do are um, 
Uh, you can also set the color and um, you can change the font to be this dumb Gothic font if you want. Hello, my name is Richard. I co okay, I don't know why it's uh, not. That's why I'm saying don't use it quite yet. I have um, some things to fix. Uh, let's do a, um, a different font. We'll be rounded large. Hello, my name is Richard. Oh, oh, I know what's happening. It's the uh, bounce on wall is messing up. Here. And then we will just do set my text right top to zero. Hello, my name is Richard. I code sometimes and sometimes I do not. So there you go. You get the idea. Um, and uh, I'm going to be adding a bunch more fonts. So now there are a few built in. I think this one might actually be my favorite. Yeah, it's right. all bubbly. Yeah. Um, no, I like the Gothic one the most. It's just so dumb. Um, and uh, yeah, so anyway, it's coming in. If there are any features you definitely want to see, please let me know. Um, one thing I'm considering right now is, so we have this animate for, I'm thinking of adding an optional parameter that is in background or um, what what's the word we use? In background or Block. Um, the other option until done. That's until done. Yeah. Um, I, I'm thinking about adding that as a parameter so you can control if it's blocking or if it's not. Um, and then also I want to. Yeah, this is also using an old version of the font, so it doesn't have all the characters. How annoying would it be to uh, add a cursor option? You mean while it's printing? Yeah, just to make it look like it's being typed out, because that'd be feels like it'd be a very annoying to hack on after the fact, but easy-ish. Hmm. Do I want to add a block for it? Is the question. Text API is fine too, and I can just use it. All right. Last thing we want to do um, is show off the thing that Jerry was talking about. So I can do like wave slash wave, and um, you can add dumb little text effects like this. So now that text is wavy. Um, there's also. You can combine them so I can also do like rainbow. Beautiful, so you can do all of your. Um, weird forum text effects from yesteryear if you want um and uh yeah so look forward to that um like i said it's pretty close to being done i just have some uh things to work out and um i'm making a few changes to the blocks to make them friendlier to use all right back to art okay um i'm gonna do a tv and because we're cool, we're going to do a CRT. Joey, did you have a CRT growing up? Yeah. I also had, uh, in the first house that I like actively remember living in, because I change houses pretty often. Um, there's a big in the living room. There's a recessed wall because we had this giant like 60 inch TV. But obviously back then the TVs weren't like nowadays where it's like they're paper thin. This was like four feet deep to support that being that and it had like a giant sound system underneath. Yeah, we also had some weird home theater set up that I shudder to think about now. Um, I don't know if it was quite that cool but so okay so crts were interesting analog analog televisions right um actually i have one on my desk um that i used to play video games but it's I, i'm not going to pick it up and put it on are you, are you a smash pro what are you a smash pro oh no i'm off the circuit you know oh, God. um so um the 
it is nice for old retro video game consoles though because um many times they were i mean they were always made with crts in mind mm -hmm. um and so when you do when you try to use like a uh, modern tv with them um the pixels look really weird yeah and you a might think oh that's a that's like a purist thing you're just being a snob no they look real weird no yeah uh, if you look up like Castlevania art or anything like that, you'll see a lot where a lot of the times the CRT's uh, style basically like bl like blurriness was used to make it so you had like a blended image and it looks like the like the eyes red and then it's just one pixel, but it looks like the eyes glowing. Yeah. Let's see. Ham seven ninety seven says hi. Last time you ended as soon as I joined, but here I am. Glad you can make it. Nice. nice to see you. Yeah. Sorry yeah. about that. We felt we felt bad about that, but yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, OK, cool. So doing a TV. And by the way, for people who are joining, we are making a very dumb game today, um, really returning back to our roots of just making really dumb video games. Um, and uh, the, the idea for this one is you're in a house and you have some sort of spell that you can use to turn your appliances and such sentient. So they're going to start talking to you. And um, just like following you around and stuff, it's gonna be fun. So if you have an appliance we wanna you want us to add to the game, please um, let us know because we we'll, we'll go ahead and add it. Um, all right, here's the TV. Hey, here's a question. Did you ever have one that had bunny ears like this? I don't think I did. Let me check uh, no, no, that was. Always had like a uh, cable. Yeah, me too. Although I think my dad has an uh, antenna now, which is interesting. I think we did have an antenna, but it was on our, it was on top of our house. Ah, gotcha. You know? Yeah. Like a little hat, right? For your house. Yeah, a little house hat. There's an antenna in view for me right now, actually. But that's like a projecting antenna. There we go. All right. Okay, so so far we have a refrigerator, an oven, a teapot, a mug, a Nintendo Switch. Um, I might have to get rid of the Pikmin, I'm afraid. Huh? That was yeah. not. That was a. Uh, that was. I mean, also something you probably want to get rid of, but it was actually supposed to be a hat, the uh, link hat. Oh, I see. Um, but yeah, I have to get rid of it because we need somewhere to put the face on this guy. Gotcha. So, yeah. Um, um that actually is a good point because uh the picture let me pull up the picture that i was using for reference that i had taken um you might notice that in the in the picture that i have for reference here over yeah. over over there you go right there is actually oh. it, it's very the screen's very effective so i put i have uh the a little squish mellow in there so th there's already that's a what that is i was like what game are you playing are you <laughs> no playing? yeah it's a, a little squishmallow and did they, uh, they, they re-release ella kids for nintendo switch and i didn't know about it did you ever play ella kids the name rings a bell but i don't remember for sure let me check i think it was a wait ella kids wait ella kids what are you talking that's the pokemon i think it was called ella kids wait i'm trying to find it give me a sec that is a hundred percent the name of the pokemon or, it is the name of a Pokemon, yeah. El, wait, Ella Bits? Is that it? Are you thinking, is this the one that was on like GameCube where you had played as a little character with a plug in it? No, that's Chibi Robo. That's Chibi Robo. Huh, I know I have it, but I don't know. Okay, where it Ella is. Bits is a game and it does look a lot like this. Yeah. It's that's it. Um, I have that somewhere in my apartment, but I don't know where it is. That game ruled. Um, I, so I okay, I, I definitely never played this one. Um, maybe I'll have to dig out my Wii U. Yeah, it was. Um, uh, the way it worked basically was, um, you. I'm, I'm gonna change this to look more like my TV because my TV turned out well. Um, so the way that game worked was you had a um. Uh, 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 like use the Wii remote as a pointer and um, everything in the world had physics. 
You could pick up things off shelves. You could throw around trucks that are outside and stuff like that. There's mm -hmm. little creatures and elements that you had to find by clicking on them. They're kind of like Pikmin. They have little personalities. Yeah. Um, and as you get them, you can then get stronger and pick up more things um, and, you know, throw them around. Um, it was, like, really critically acclaimed. I don't think it sold very well, and so they never... I don't know if they ever made another... I think they did make a sequel, but I don't know. I don't... It was not... Um, for the Wii, I think it was like a mobile sequel type thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm uh, associating too much with microwaves that I've had too much. Would a handle on the right side make sense here? I think that might m make it draw it out a little. Maybe. Some some don't have. Lots of microwaves don't have one, but some do. Yeah. Just adding some detail to these. And... Um, I kind of like the microwave as, as it is, um, but I mean, yeah, it's fine as it is too. If I add some pixels to the width, add it in, Twenty six. move this over, like that, fill this in, and then we will do a handle. Like that. Like it? Uh, can you add two pixels to the left uh, on the top and bottom so it's like a going out? Nah, I don't know yeah. if I can do that. Okay. Nah, that's fine. Then we can get rid of it. No, I like it. It's fine. It's part of it now. Um. All right. Now talking more about old people things. So, um. Our old CRT had a wonderful thing about it, which was so in order to play video games, you would have to put on, you would have to hook up your video game console to like the input in, you know, and depending on what TV you had, you usually had to go to channel four and that would pick up input that was in Turtle, right? Mm -hmm. Doing, I, I, the NES actually has a switch on it where you can put it on channel four or channel three. So, mm -hmm. Um, you, it would usually be one of those channels that would be like the input in. Um, and uh, I remember because this is all analog, you know, weird stuff would happen sometimes. Oh, our CRT was like going bad a little bit. And um, when you would play Nintendo 64, you could very subtly see whatever was on the next channel underneath it. Um, like a super picture in picture mode. Yeah. So, like, I have, I have a very clear memory of playing Rayman on the Nintendo 64 while there was a football game very subtly underneath, where if you looked at, like, the shadows and, like, the dark areas, you could see, like, players moving around and stuff. But it's, yeah. Nice. CRTs yeah. are cool. All right. Uh, yeah. Let's see. What would be the most? Uh, component cables always messed me up because I was always very nervous when I was a kid because I didn't understand for sure if they would, like, blow everything up if I put in the wrong color to the wrong color. and like. Usually you have one mismatched color on your TV is what I always remember having. Yeah. Hey, does this look better with that? Yeah, I was actually going to, I was thinking about doing that same thing, but I, I yeah, because the, the, the Switch has those on. big bezels on it. I think it makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Well, my, mine's the, the OLED Switch, which I think. I have the OLED nice. also, and it still has giant bezels. So I don't know what you're talking about. Does it? Okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'm thinking of it with it off. Yes, that's that's true. Um, all right, cool. This stuff is coming together. Okay, um, let's think of some more stuff we can add to here. Remember, if you have an appliance you want me to draw, please just put it in chat. And by the way, we're not going to be doing much coding today. This is really going to be an art stream, and then we're going to start working on this game next week, mm -hmm. um, if that wasn't apparent already. Um, all right, let's see. Looking around my apartment, um, we do a sick tape deck. Oh, uh, Ham797 has a, an actual good suggestion compared to mine, which is, can you do a computer? Pretty good idea. Let's do that. Hmm. Unfortunately, what I already said What parts of the that... computer are friends? What? What parts of the computer are friends? Is the mouse a friend? I don't think the mouse is, but we could do the keyboard. Um, I think the mouse will be difficult to draw in the perspective that I am yeah. doing, you know? Because you're kind of like sense. looking straight at it, and you know your mouse doesn't sit up like that on your desk. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. We're doing a computer, and um, this is why I'm glad I said that it was going to be tan or pink for the background, because the background is now going to be pink, because I'm making this computer. Obviously, beige. Did you ever have a beige computer? You must have. Really? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think my, I think they were always going to be like just like uh, black boxes. Really? Wow. So the reason I, I, I sound... I'm assuming you mean a beige desktop, right? Like a, yeah. a box. Yeah. No. So the reason I'm saying this is because for whatever reason, something that I may never understand, there was a trend in like the 80s and 70s where they were like, oh, that's a, that's something that's meant to go into an office. Make a page. Looks amazing. And this was touted as like a fashion feature was making this beige. It was not just I mean, like beige is a, a typically non-offensive color that is relatively easy on the eyes, right? It's it's light and it's not blaringly egregious. Uh, yeah, but it kind of makes it look like um, like I see these now and I'm like, oh, the plastic's just really old. It started to yellow or something. Yeah, and that is that is not the case. They just made it. Like, you know, the other benefit of beige is that it starts with B, so you know it's all about the business. True, true, true. Um, okay, wait, how did I do the other screens? Let's see. Oh, I see, I see, I see. That. There we go. And we put in um, three disk trays, that. right? You got to make sure that just in case i mean i'm making this a uh, an all-in-one yeah i'm making it um uh, yeah let's we'll see what is it um whatever the thing is called nope apple lisa nope that's not what i'm making shoot i'm making the macintosh it is in fact beige though this guy this guy this is what i'm making yeah Okay, so only one disk tray. Yeah. Gotcha. Sorry, I know this is a, this is a, obviously we work for Microsoft, but um, I thought it would be cute to draw one of these, so. Yeah. Is a fairly iconic design. Not yeah. fairly, that is an understatement for sure. Yeah. Uh, can you do computer TV remote? That's also a good one. Maybe I'll do that when I'm, uh, I, have, I have to answer somebody's question real quick, but I will do that in a minute. Okay, here's a question. Did you ever have dial-up? No. Uh, not that I remember. I am not that much older than you, right? No, I mean, 95, right? you're 92. Uh, you're, I guess I'm three years older than you. Was that yeah. really enough to make this gulf between us? Feels like a lot. It feels like a big gulf. Yeah. Um, maybe my family just had fancy stuff. Right? I like so. I, I was the tail end of my family, right? Like it was the, the difference in my family's age. My siblings are nine, 11 and 13 years older than me. Right. So my, my parents were like established and had everything figured out already at that point. Um, OK, OK, we're going to make this a little bit wider. And we are going to put a mouse. Um, probably make a beige. Match. There you go. I think that came out pretty well, actually. I it is very definitely a computer. Yeah. Um, 
All right, cool. Um, so you're doing TV remote, right? Yes, in a minute. Yes. It might not be done before this uh, calls over, just because I'm answering intern stuff. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Um, okay, let's see. I'm not gonna do a keyboard because honestly, I think the keyboard it would be weird. Um, just again because of the perspective thing. Yeah, uh, and also like to make the faces on it, I think you'd have to have like a gamer keyboard, right? Yeah, all RGB'd right. up. That, that and would that make would it be impossible because there, there's no place you could put a face on that thing. Yeah, like um, it's like, too much detail. Yeah, if it were a keyboard like the one on my new laptop that's coming, it would be fine. You can make all the keys light up, but. You know, this is this is a this is the live stream where Joey just brags about his stuff. Um, he's got cool stuff. I get it. Um, but right. I, I'm just trying to to do this enough so that you start bragging about all your cool music stuff, and then uh, you know that'll be a good time. Okay. Um. So next up, next up, next up. Looking around my apartment again. Can I do a fan? Would that be too hard? Um. um what about a vacuum? Well, vacuum's not a bad idea. Yeah, there's gonna be too much detail enough. Well, I could make the center part big and then do something like that. Like um let's do like a box fan. Eh, that might just be too much detail to do. Um okay, uh so the other one was what what did you just say? Oh vacuum. Mm -hmm. Your dispelled word. Yeah, not one of these Dyson ones. We're gonna do. Uh, I think um, if you search two thousands vacuum, that might be a. Yeah. I mean, I want one back. There we go. Okay. Yeah. This, this is the sort of thing I'm looking for. Not a central vacuum. Oh what? You know the ones that you plug into the little outlet on the wall and all the stuff goes. In. What? Uh, that's a thing yeah where does this stuff go the, the heck what people have this in their like homes yeah chat please tell me if joey's lying to me i mean i don't think people have it anymore as much as commonly I'm 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 specifically imagining the vacuum from Brave Little Toaster. Um, oh yeah, that that's a vacuum, man. Yeah. Did you ever Did you ever see that movie as a kid? Um, I think it scared me. I I, yes. I, I remember for sure. Oh, I think it very much a, scared. That was a traumatizing movie. Also, Hi Hassan. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm a ghost. Nice. Hassan, did you ever see the Brave Little Toaster as a kid? The Brave Little Toaster. No. Um, does it, is it like Toy Soldiers? Um, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> In that, like, it's ostensibly a children's movie, but, um, you know, leaves you... Yeah, maybe scared, scared isn't the right word, but unsettled. Um... Yeah, I mean, so it's definitely a kid's movie for sure, but it's like intense. I don't know. Like I um, I certainly remember being quite scared by parts of it, even though I liked it quite a bit as a kid. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember I, talk, I brought it up to like my sister recently and she was like, um, yeah, I refuse to watch that because it was so, too scary. <laughs> so what uh, um, was the intention for it to be like Courage the Cowardly Dog type of thing, like kids horrifying show? Or was no. the intention like, was it well intended and just happened to be horrifying? Just happened to be horrifying. But OK, or, okay so I, I feel like we're giving Brave Little Toaster a bad rap here. Again, I liked it quite a bit as a kid. Yeah. Um, But it was on the scarier side of things. For sure. Uh, important question, Hassan. Central vacuum, is that a thing you're aware of? Did you say central vacuum? Yeah, like a central vacuum system, right? Like you just plug it, a little vacuum into the wall. 
Is this a fancy person thing? Is this is this what happens? I like I have some weird vague recollection of what you're talking about, but yeah. I couldn't tell you if I dreamed it or not. Oh, um, yeah, that's, that's you, not you, you you put a hose into a wall and it sends it all off into like a little dustbin that you throw out once every couple months. OK, have you met yeah. anyone who had this? You ever encountered this in your life? Yeah, you had yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh like my half god! The house is up to like I was like fifteen, and then they got smaller vacuum because it was just less annoying to plug in. They do things different in Canada. Um. <laughs> hey, hey, Van- wrong Vancouver man. <laughs> Yo, you're in the south one. Uh, you know, it's interesting. I just picked up a uh, a new fangled Roboback that has a docking station, where mm-hmm. when it finishes vacuuming, it will like use these high powered um you know high powered pumps like pull out all the uh all the dust from the small compartment in the robovac into like a bag oh, that's sitting that's... in the thing so i'm like well i've like gone i've gone back to bagged vacuums essentially like there's there's many steps removed but there is a bag <laughs> but yeah just, thank just, you mario you know, gamer for backing me up here right like this <laughs> is the thing this is the thing people have <laughs> yeah Mario Gamer has come in to defend Joey in chat. Number one Joey yeah. defender. Thank you very much. <laughs> you know, if, if you can make your house such that there are no low-hanging wires that a vacuum can easily eat, I cannot recommend enough just getting a RoboVac. Even if you get one of the dumb ones that just use, that just bump into things and go in random directions, like, you'd be surprised uh, just, you know, how much nicer it is to just let this it is why I'm going to survive place. like five minutes longer than you in the robot apocalypse. Or, uh, <laughs> you have you have one less appliance to turn on you. <laughs> yeah, this this those little guys are going to be nipping at your toes just like a turtle, and you I'm know, just going to be walking we, freely, we, unencumbered. You know, we joked, but I felt like that uh, I was on stream and like the, the vacuum was like nipping at the toes, and I'm like, oh no, is it a precursor to what's come <laughs> to what's going to come? Uh, <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I, uh, I also have a robot vacuum that I got right before I adopted Otto and have not turned on since because I just don't want to know how he's going to deal with it. <laughs> um, so. Wait, Otto, not Rex. Okay. No, yeah. So it's been there for quite a long time. Okay. Did you start it? No. Okay, my friends, um. I, I will I, say, I, I, does it, by the way, does this look like a vacuum? That's vacuum. Oh yeah. Cool. Um, vaguely Coke branded vacuum. Yeah, I, I was gonna say it almost looks like a can of soda a little bit. Okay, <laughs> I can um, change the colors. <laughs> okay, that is vacuum oh. colored. That that teal, I have seen that on a vacuum. Dude, that, nice. well, now, now it just kind of looks weird. Yeah. I liked the I liked the swish, but um, now it now it's those cups, those fancy Dixie like cups, uh, Dixie cups. <laughs> I, that that looks better. It's it's not so uh, yeah. Right. Cool. Uh, maybe I should maybe I should get rid of the swish altogether. No, funny. the swish is beautiful. My... It's, it's perfect. Yeah, <laughs> I'll leave there. Um, you, you, let's you see. Ham seven ninety seven has made us a fan. Let me go ahead and Ooh. grab that. Is that a switch? Yes, Joey did that one. Nice. I was gonna say, eh. um, my friend's dog Kide, whom you sometimes see on stream. He, uh, like, like sometimes I like put him in the room, let the robo vacuum run. Then he's in the living room, and I put the robo back in the living room. So he's never actually seen it run, but he's incredibly suspicious of it. And I'll catch him just like having his like be like a foot from the vacuum, and then just slowly leaning forward to sniff it. And I'm talking about like quite the lean, like Michael. Jackson levels of leaning over to like be at a safe distance so that he can bolt the minute the vacuum even thinks about making a movement. So I think he knows what its purpose is, but he's never actually seen it do the thing. So he's, he's just generally wary of it. Thank you, Ham797, for this very well done um, fan. I do have to use it for the um, okay. color palette that we have. I was just wondering what it would look like with a bunch of 
Ring spirals. Jam? Yeah. Just trying it out. You know, the spiral that makes mm. it so you don't just stick your hand into it because you're like, yeah, it looks like it'd be kind of like, <laughs> like Hall of the Void type of thing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay. I'm sure you've looked at it, right? It's it's the same as when you look over, like, yeah, I mean, this is pretty high up, man. I don't know. Mm-hmm. The brain testing you. Keep you on your toes. Oh, yeah. Ideal. It's, it's, for, it's, a, it's especially yeah. bad for me. Not, not a huge fan. Most, most guardrails are just way too short. Um, like they're not even at hip, they're not even at hip level, especially if you're in a building interior that has like an atrium. They're gonna be well below my hip. So yeah. I, I don't think like oh I'm gonna like you know, I'm think like if like, I got oh I'll push, just like I would just keep walking right over. It. Yeah. There'd be nothing to stop. Like I, I feel how tall are you, like, Hassan? Like six four? No, I'm like I'm six two. So, okay, just a little uh, tall. Okay. I feel safe when it's like chest level, but then I realized that. Like, that would actually be over the head of, I think, some proportion of the population who would not be pleased to have to grab both hands. Really, they should have variable height ledges, right? So that you should, like, there should be a camera nearby and it just goes up to the height appropriate for whoever is walking by. Yeah. Like, like I just hung up some paintings and they're all, like, six feet off the ground. I'm like, yeah, this is my, my eye level. Actually, they're, they're even a little higher. They're, like, seven feet. Uh-huh. And I had a, a shorter friend complain, and I'm like, ah, well, the art's for me, so. <laughs> like, this is my eye level. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> All right. Well, that's actually going to do it for us today. Thank you guys for joining. Um, remember, if you haven't done it already, we have a game jam going on. There is still time. Um, it ends on Monday. Um, so if you are so moved, please submit a game. We would love to play it. Um, as I mentioned, Hassan doesn't know this yet. Um, mm. former, former streamster Shannon has volunteered to help us judge them. So, Whoa. yep. Yay. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, um, tune in. I, we're, I, I'm not going to say we're going to have the stream where we announce the winners and play all the games next week. That's probably a little tight. Um, There's also, but, to my understanding, a lot of games. Yeah, I think so. Wait, how, how, do you know how many there are? I haven't actually checked. I was checking, when I checked a couple weeks ago, I thought it was in the 70s or something already. Yeah. Wow. Um, Ham797 says, when does it end? It ends on Monday at midnight. So you have until then midnight Pacific time specifically. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, still a lot of time, you know, you don't have to make a game that is fancy. Just make something that means something to you and we will play it. And we are going to be selecting winners for this one. So, um, you know, give it a shot. It's fun. It's fun to make games. Mm-hmm. Um, well, anyway. I have to run immediately to a meeting, but yeah. I'm Richard 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 I'm Joey at Joey Wonderland. We can learn. Bye. Yeah. Okay. See um, you. Yeah, we'll see you next week.